Hurricane Ian has moved on tonight after stamping an indelible mark of death and destruction across Florida. Local officials are reporting multiple people killed and hundreds of thousands more in the dark for days to come. Rescuers struggled to reach people stranded by the floodwaters that Ian left behind after raking the state overnight. By midday, more than 500 people had been rescued in hardest hit Southwest Florida. Are you guys okay? Nobody thought it was coming here, so we prepared for our clients and we prepared for Meals on Wheels. We did not prepare for the thousands of people who were looking for support immediately after the storm, who didn't have power, who didn't have water. People weren't ready for weeks or ready for everything to be lost. So it was probably about 10 a.m. the morning after the storm and we had clients starting to wander up, we had volunteers starting to show up and people knew it was time to get to work and they wanted to know what could we do to get back rolling. What they're delivering today, is it seven pallets of produce? By Friday morning we were full-fledged operational. We delivered Meals on Wheels. And let me tell you how grateful those clients were to see our volunteers. Oh, I love you. I love you too. I got you some food and some water. Oh, I'm happy, happy. We cranked out hundreds and hundreds of hot meals. We were distributing supplies immediately, and we didn't stop. I just remember truck after truck after vehicle after semi-truck pulling into our parking lot and unloading water and food and supplies so we could turn around and get it to people in our communities. We were taking out food and water and supplies to some of the hardest hit areas, which of course is above and beyond what we normally do, um, but our volunteers are incredible in the way that they stepped up and taking care of their community. The interesting thing that I've seen since the storm is you have some of us who have gotten back to work. We Our lights are back on, our, we're back shopping at Target and Publix and going to soccer games on the weekends and life is normal. And then there's a whole group here in Southwest Florida who lost everything. They lost their homes, they lost cars, they lost businesses, their livelihoods. They're still struggling. They're still struggling. It's hard, man. There's no way to describe it, but hard. You, this is my livelihood. Right now, I have nothing. You can't work, no money. So we just basically going by the help that we get from you people. It's heartbreaking. It's it's like not knowing where you're gonna lay down the next day or where you're gonna sleep, and then having children in between. I mean, one as an adult can always pull forward, even if it's you sleeping in your car or sleeping in, underneath the tent. But when there's children involved, it's like your main focus is just them to make sure everybody's okay. Raising three kids on my own, it's, it's been hard. The economy right now has gone sky high. So when I do come here, it's when the resources that I get are really, really big help for me. And I appreciate every single person that gives to them that for them to help us. It's hard to believe that all of this damage around us is from Hurricane Ian. When Miss Sharon had water literally up to here and she stayed with her granddaughter and her dogs and rode the storm out here. It's unbelievable. We do not staff up for this additional work. My staff and our, oh my gosh, our incredible volunteers, like everyone had damage, everybody was impacted, but they didn't worry about themselves. They showed up. Find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea 
As the need continues to grow, we continue to rise up and meet it. We just, we don't have any other choice. That's who we are as an organization. Our community continues to grow. Thousands of people are moving here to Southwest Florida. That just puts so much additional pressure on organizations like ours. I would put that challenge out there um, to many people in our community who didn't lose everything and weren't severely impacted. On a good year, we're always asking you to dig deep. But I think this year, we need you to dig a little deeper. We're this small but mighty organization. We never back down. Ever. You can count on me cause I can count on you.